What's going on guys? Hunter here with Goodman Lawn Care and I have been waiting to film this video for quite some time now. My 2022 lawn care setup. Got the F-350 right here in the trailer about to go through and show you what we got. All right guys, we will start with the truck and then work our way back. So, this is my Ford F350 Super Duty with a V10 Triton in it, gas burner engine in it, not a diesel. Uh, really thankful too with the gas prices the way they are. Diesel would be very, very expensive. And this truck gets seven and a half, maybe eight miles per gallon, which really, really sucks. Uh, but it's an extremely, extremely good truck, pulls good ride smooth and uh, and everything and then i put new tires on it today i put a sumitomo uh encounter highway tires on there i just went with the highway tires because all these tires back here are going to do is just wear out uh because all they're doing is just sliding and everything every time you turn or back up or anything and uh, i have firestone highway tires on the front so i have two different brands of tires on there but what i'll probably do whenever those wear out is put these same ones right here on the front also so that's what i'll do with that and uh, i have a tool bed on this truck all this came with this truck if you've seen the video of this truck uh you already know all about it why i bought it and uh and all that but this truck was already set up ready to go exactly what i needed wanted and uh so that's why i got it because it had the nice tool bed on it and uh had a ton ton of room uh, back here in the back extremely amount of space back there and then uh, i'm able to keep my hedge trimmers and everything in that box and i've got all kinds of stuff in this toolbox right here all around it and uh, i'm actually going to film a video here pretty soon just showing you what is actually in my truck in my work truck and why i have it in there what i use it for and all that because it's really interesting because i have just about everything in there that i need to fix anything that might go wrong on a typical day of mowing or if something happens with one of the tires on the truck or you know something with the truck you know i've got a little bit of everything in there to fix what i need so i'll go through there one day film a video on that and give you an idea of what i have in there and all that so uh, anyway so now we're at the setup so this i'll start off with a trailer as far as the setup goes uh this is an 18 foot trailer uh it's 16 foot flat and then a two foot dovetail off the back uh reason i went with a dovetail is because the dovetail is a lot a lot easier to load and unload the mowers it's not quite as steep as a ramp and you know stuff doesn't scrape when you're going over that thing but the only downside to the dovetail is that it does scrape at certain places which you know it doesn't scrape bad enough to where it's going to tear the trailer up but it does scrape and it's just kind of aggravating but uh that's one thing and uh i have 10 ply trailer tires on there i just put on there and the only issue i have with this trailer right now is my leaf springs you can see that the fender and the tire are pretty close right now and it's because i think i have my leaf springs are going bad uh so i've talked to my mechanic about putting me some new leaf springs on there and i'm gonna get back in touch with him pretty soon and uh hopefully we can get that taken care of but anyway so let's get to the mowers so i run all x mark mowers i have the x mark laser z's right here x series 60 inch decks on both and uh, i believe they have the kawasaki uh kx 801 v on them that's what they have they both have 10 gallon gas tanks on there uh extremely extremely powerful mowers i've put these things in places where uh only a tractor should be going i mean these mowers should not be doing what they do but they handle it just fine and the decks are built like crazy crazy good so uh no complaints with the mowers i've done reviews on these i've done a lot of videos with these mowers if y'all want to check them out uh, on my channel and everything um then what the one big thing that's changed besides the truck since last year's 2020 not last year's lawn care setup uh is this mower this right mower right here i bought it at the end of last year this is a uh x mark Starus e series with a 32 inch deck uh stand on mower and you know everything you know works the same same controls and everything they're just it's just a stand on mower version of the laser z pretty much it's just pretty much the same thing it's it's a few differences but you know for the most part all the controls are the same so 
And I need to film a video on this also, trying to run through uh, my likes and dislikes of this mower so far uh, later this summer and everything. But that's kind of the mowers there. Um, trying to think if there's anything else on the big mowers that I needed to show you. Uh, if you're wondering why this mower is so far up and everything, we got a parking brake out on it and I've got to fix that. I got to get that fixed. And uh, it kind of rolls forward a little bit, but I try to keep these tire chalks up here uh, under it where it don't roll back that far but we forgot to put them under there the last time and you know of course it don't do you no good if you forget so anyway that's the mowers that's what i'm running right there and i do carry all three of these mowers everywhere i go pretty much uh for the most part and this is my uh equipment defender hand tool rack i've got a shovel rakes pitchforks nor rakes more shovels uh, i think it's six yeah six hand tools can fit on this rack extremely extremely good purchase and uh they have it set up to where you can actually put another thing right here and hang more tools right there so you know they've got they've got that figured out extremely extremely good product there um then this is a jungle gym uh weird stream string trimmer rack uh right here and i have three steel uh weirs on there two fs 111 rx's and one fs 91 r uh, with the steel head trimmer attachment there. I just bought that this year. I've done a few videos with it. I think um, I hadn't if I hadn't filmed a video with it yet I've, I've showed it to you in a video, but I will you'll see some more of that later on, but uh, You notice I'm missing a weeder up there. Uh, that was one of my FS 111 RX's um, It's actually in the shop right now and uh, So I'll tell you about that in just a minute, but I'm gonna finish this right here and then I'll uh, go back through and kind of explain that but anyway this is the steel BR800C backpack blower. Massive, massive blower. This is the best, this is the biggest blower that steel makes uh, in like a backpack form. And this is actually uh, the best blower, in my opinion, that you can get. Uh, I absolutely love this blower. Um, has plenty, plenty of power on it. So, um, and I've, I've done a lot, a lot of videos with this blower too. You can check those out. I've done a lot of videos on all my equipment actually uh you know that a lot of y'all maybe not have seen but you need to go back and check them out because they're extremely extremely good you can see the, all the power of all the mowers and everything it's it's really insane how how powerful this equipment really is but uh anyway so i think that's about it on the trailer um i did i'll explain this right here so i did have a water cooler right here this is a water cooler rack uh from buyer's product i think um and I'm gonna take it off because I didn't really like it. The water cooler never really stayed on. The straps really weren't good. I tried ratchet strapping it, uh, but it always moved and you know, I don't know. I just didn't like it very much. So I'm gonna take that off. And uh, cause this is, it's in the way now, there's nothing on it. So we need to get rid of that anyway. Yeah, I think that's about it on the trailer, on the setup and everything. Uh, I will be purchasing another steel BR800C this year. Uh, because this blower right here, I'm actually gonna buy a, uh, another rack too. This is an equipment defender rack. Um, and I'm actually gonna keep two of these on the trailer at all times because we have some pretty big properties that we mow and this thing right here comes in handy and I see myself needing, needing more than one now. So uh, we're gonna get another rack and probably put it right here if I can, I mean, I don't know. We're either gonna put it here or on the other side. I'm not real sure yet, but we'll figure that out. But I'm definitely buying another one of those. And also this year, I'm buying another FS111RX. I might even get two of them. I'm not real sure. Um, my steel products, I'm going to go ahead and talk about that one that's in the shop right now. Um, I never have problems with any of my steel products. I never do. And that's that sounds crazy. But to be honest with you, I've never really had any problems with it. I've had two problems with it. Uh, and one of them was basically a recall from steel or a should have been recall. Uh, it was a tank vent for the gas tank. And what it would do is you would crank it up and you would run uh, the weed eater for, you know, I don't know, you would run it for five minutes and then it would just shut off. Or you would crank it up and run it and it would just bogged down and, and wouldn't run and if you let off the trigger it died i mean it just died all the time and i don't know if i did a good job explaining that but it just wouldn't run right and so i took it up there they had it for two weeks and didn't really know what was wrong with it so i was like you know what i'm going to call steel so we called steel and talked to him about it 
and they said it was the tank vent so i was like well that answers the question so sure enough i told the dealer they fixed it and hadn't had a problem since so as far as my steel products i've never had a problem other than that and the one i'm having a problem with now so the one i'm having a problem with now it's just not running right at all it's just bogging down real bad uh, I think it's some trash in the fuel system or, you know, one of my guys could have accidentally put the wrong fuel in it. I have no idea, but something's not right with it. So I took it to the shop and getting it fixed. And uh, so that's what we got going on with that. And uh, so just wanted to hop in there and tell you that. And I think that's really all I'm going to be buying this year as far as, uh, you know, weed eaters and blowers. I don't really think we need any more mowers this year. I would like to eventually get another uh x smart laser z because as y'all know this one right here has 870 hours on it i think it probably 875 now because we've we've mowed a good bit uh this week but anyway so it's it's got a lot of hours on it and i'm not worried about it you know dying anytime soon because dad's got one with over a thousand hours on it and never never had a problem with it so I'm not worried about it, but I would like to eventually replace that one with a newer one uh, because I did buy that one last May and it has roughly 200-ish hours on it. And so, you know, it'd be good to have two new mowers, something dependable and everything. Not that Xmark isn't dependable, but when you get up to 800 and something hours, you know, you start having little things and it's just good to go ahead and get a new one if you can. But I'm gonna tell you guys, the, the lawnmower prices have went up tremendously this year that's why i haven't even thought about getting another mower just because of how high it is so i'll go ahead and tell you so last year when i bought uh this mower right here uh x Mart laser z 60 inch deck uh f kawasaki fx 801 v engine on it uh same exact mower as that one over there uh this is a 2021 model uh i think i paid right at 12 maybe 12 5 somewhere in there but it was right at 12 uh this same mower same exact mower same engine same deck same everything this year is fifteen thousand four hundred dollars that is insane it's went up so much since last year and i really don't know why i guess because everything else is going up gas metal I, I guess all their parts have gone up too but that just seems outrageous to me for another mower but uh that's just the world we live in guys and you know it is what it is and i guess if you want a new mower bad enough that's what you'll have to pay but anyway just want to throw that in there i thought that was that's pretty crazy about how high they went up but anyway so needless to say i probably won't be buying a new mower this year i'll probably just make that one last as long as i can uh and speaking of making them last we do change the oil in them every 50 hours in case you're wondering i've had a few people ask me questions about that um and all that good stuff so that's what we did and uh, we actually just changed the oil changed the blades in them not long ago so they're good to go now uh, for a good little while so i'm about to flip the camera around and get my head trimmers out and everything and i'm going to show you all my head trimmer attachments and my head trimmers that i have and show you what i'm running on that aspect of everything and then i've got some big news that i'm not sure if i'm going to share or not yet but i'm kind of going to give you a hint about it and uh, kind of get into it in a minute but anyway something i'm really excited about it's been going on for a while and i just hadn't said anything because i didn't know i didn't know when it was going to come in it's been it's been a very i mean it's probably been a month month and a half and i really to be honest with you thought it was going to come in maybe six months from now uh but anyway i'll get into that in a minute and uh but first of all i'm gonna turn around and show you the hedge trimmers so this is my steel hs 45 hedge trimmers uh really just this handheld ones they're really really nice uh, i think i bought these last year paid right at 300 dollars for these these are really really good hedge trimmers you can't beat them uh, they crank extremely good uh, my only complaint about these would be they run out of gas extremely extremely fast uh, but they cut really really good and they crank up good so you know no complaints on that aspect of it but if i had one complaint that would be it just how fast they run through gas but uh anyway and you can take a dremel and actually sharpen this uh and i might do that one day and film it and show y'all how to do it and everything but uh i have done it before and it works pretty good so uh, but anyway that's those and i'm gonna show you the other ones uh that goes on the weed eater actually i'll show you those right now so um this is one set 
that I bought actually pretty recently. I paid $250 for these. Uh, they're actually adjustable. You can fold them out straight or you can fold them about this. Uh, I call this travel mode because I have them on the rack and I can keep them on there while I'm going down the road and stuff. But uh, pretty slick, works pretty good. Uh, I like them so far. Uh, they're really, really sharp uh, when you get them and everything. And so that's what I love about buying new head trimmers they're always extremely sharp when you buy them. And uh, like I said, you can sharpen them though, so that's no big deal. But uh, that's one of my favorite attachments that goes on the weed eater so far. And I'll open this box real quick. So, this is my other head trimmer attachment. This is just a straight shaft one. It does not fold or rotate or turn or anything. It stays just like that. This is my chainsaw attachment for my uh, steel weed eater. It goes on any of them. It goes on the FS91R or the FS111RX. All of these will fit any of them. I typically like to run my attachments on the FS91R for two reasons. Number one, I feel like it's got a little bit more torque. And also, that's my oldest weed eater. And if it wears out, it's no big deal. And these attachments are actually pretty, pretty heavy and they're pretty hard to run on the fs111 rx's so i like to run them on the 91r just because it's just built a little bit more for that i feel like so uh and when i say that's my oldest weed eater i've probably had it for five maybe even six years now so you can see the longevity of steel is extremely extremely good so um that's my chainsaw attachment and it's got a 12 inch bar and chain on there uh cuts really really good when it's sharp i really need a new chain for it uh i thought i had a new chain right there but it turned out to actually be a 14 inch and this is a 12 inch so i've got the wrong one uh but we'll get that taken care of and this is the edger attachment i rarely use this anymore since we started flip edging uh but if it's really really bad overgrown i will pull this sucker out and zip through there pretty quick with it and then touch it up with the weed eater so uh and all these attachments just go on just like that uh, they have a screw that tightens down you just pop the shaft right in there till it clicks and you're good to go so same way there this one actually has about four screws and that one has two screws most all of them commonly have two screws uh but this is an older one so it has one screw but anyway that's all the screws i mean i'm sure y'all are tired of hearing me talk about screws but Anyway, that's my attachments from steel, hedge trimmers, hedge trimmers, weed eaters, blowers. That's kind of the whole gist of everything. Uh, any questions in the comments, just go ahead and leave a comment down below if you got a question about anything, and I will gladly answer it for you. Uh, or if it's a big enough question, I might film a video on it for you. I don't know. So anyway, all right. So all that being said, uh, at the end of my videos well, like this, after I talk about my equipment and everything, I kind of like to talk about my plans for the year and everything so and i've already talked about my plans for the uh 2022 lawn care season in a previous video but uh this is a little bit bigger i haven't even mentioned this yet i haven't even hinted at it i have, I have not done anything about this but i have i have not purchased it yet but it's coming in in about a week or two and when it gets here i'll, I'll buy it and uh and everything but I have purchased a much larger piece of equipment. More, it's the biggest piece of equipment I've ever bought. I've never, I've never bought anything like this before. I've used it before. I've operated. I've been around it, uh, but I've never actually owned one myself. So it's going to be pretty awesome. I'm real excited to share it with y'all. I'm not going to say it yet. I don't want to ruin the surprise, uh, but I'm really, really excited about it. It's going to help me out tremendously on landscaping jobs, firewood, a little bit of everything. So. Uh, you know i'm real, real excited about it so anyway i wanted to mention that to y'all because i just i'm just i'm so excited about it and i hadn't mentioned it yet because i did not know when it was going to come in i mean i've been talking back and forth with them for probably roughly two months uh a back and forth about it waiting on when when it's going to come in and all this and that and uh i was not hopeful that it was going to come in this month or next month like they said i was really thinking more like six months and everything the way everything's been uh but i got a call from this morning and it said it's going to be here uh in the next week or two so i'm hoping next week it'll come in and i can film with it and show you all what i got uh but it's a much larger piece of equipment than everything i just showed you on the trailer and it'll haul on this trailer i think uh but i'm actually going to be buying a bigger trailer for it too to haul it on just so i don't have to use this one for it but anyway i'm not going to get in too much detail because i'll end up slipping up and telling y'all what it is 
and I don't want to ruin the surprise for y'all. So that being said, uh, that concludes my 2022 lawn care setup. Uh, appreciate y'all watching. If y'all are not subscribed, you need to hit that subscribe button so you can be, uh, hit that subscribe button and post notifications so you can be alerted when I post videos, when I po make a post, when I do anything, you'll know about it. So appreciate y'all watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something and I'll see y'all later.